Welcome all you True Plan members, it's me, Monkey Chicken here, helping all of them green goblins. Well anyways guys, the topic of today's video is how to make an impenetrable base on woodycraft.net factions bravo and with that let's go and begin okay guys so first before i tell you how to make this base i'm gonna have to tell you why it works so let's go ahead and start off with the basics as most of you guys probably already know obsidian will not get exploded by tnt but in woodycraft faction bravo he's running a plugin called obsidian destroyer that allows obsidian to get destroyed after three tnt explosions so what people do to combat this is to cover their obsidian base with water because if you don't already know while tnt is inside water it will not destroy anything even the most fragile of materials. So what raiders will do to counteract this protection is make a TNT cannon that also launches sand or otherwise known as a hybrid cannon. The reason why is because if TNT is going to explode in water, there's a thing in Minecraft that if falling sand and ignited TNT are in the same block space, the sand will counteract the water effect and allow the TNT to blow up. So what defenders do to counteract this is they put slabs on top of the obsidian to counteract the hybrid cannon. The reason why this works is because if sand were to fall on top of slabs, it would turn into an item. And it does not matter what type of slab you use. So the standard practice for defense is to have an obsidian shell, put slabs on top of the roof and obsidian, and then add layers and layers and layers upon this for the reason being that the weakest point of this type of strategy is the walls so what most defenders will do is claim as much land around their base so that the tnt cannons will not reach the outer interior of the base so as i have gone around done my fair share rating and fair share of protecting my base i've been thinking a long time of how to make the perfect structure what would do it what would protect my base the most and it finally occurred to me a pyramid a pyramid would be the most defensible structure for the reason being that the quote unquote sides you know in geological terms are actually ceilings in minecraft terms because you're able to put the slabs on them so why people or, or why raiders are attacking your base and they're launching tnt cannons at the quote unquote sides it's actually slabs so as they land on top of these slabs it would disrupt the sand the tnt wouldn't work and it would protect your base but this base does come with two flaws but those two flaws are the things that make it the most strongest is that if TNT and sand were to lie next to the first layer of slabs there it could essentially blow up and then slowly open up your base but if you've ever fired a TNT cannon you know that it's nearly impossible to be accurate with this thing you nearly set it and hope that it lands where you want it to go it's not very accurate and it'll be a miracle for you to land next to a single slab whereas other bases you have entire 30 block walls to aim at the second and last soft spot of the this base design is the underbelly which can be easily fixed by adding water to it now that i've told you the design and what makes it good and the few spots that it is weak at i want to tell you some places where you shouldn't place it because it would become more vulnerable in those locations first being at bedrock layer for the reason being the tnt can be easily placed at that first row slab then slowly open up your base so you don't want it touching the ground the other place that you don't want to place it is at sky level for the reason being is once you place the water on top of the pyramid it's going to flow from the sky all the way down to the floor and that's going to cause some major server lag and evil woody's going to come out get mad do some badman stuff and get rid of your base so as i wrap things up here the best place to build this is on an ocean for the reason being that you get the water underneath you're able to you know suspend your base without causing too much server lag and it's kind of still hard to you know get the tnt on that first layer of slabs whereas if you're on bedrock they could launch it just right next to it and fall you know next to the base blow it up and then slowly crack open your your base this this place is the best place to do it over some kind of big water source um claim as much land around it as you want and believe me guys i have a pretty big base of my own of this and once you get a really big land claim your pyramid is really huge and you really won't have problems trying to find room for it okay guys reach in this video so if you don't mind in the comment section below please let me know one or more things that you disliked about this video i'd really appreciate the feedback and if you guys have any questions comments or concerns please put it in the comment section below i'd also be happy to answer that and if you guys like the video please like it or if you found it helpful um if you guys want to stay updated on all my videos and everything i'm doing you guys can follow me on twitch or twitter links are on the screen and down in the description uh two videos that you guys may want to see um on the left hand side is my new monkey craft hardcore edition where we play minecraft with a little bit of mods on hardcore so we only got one live 
life, but if we die, it's done and over with. It's pretty cool. A lot of people like it. Um, hopefully, you guys like it. So, if you're interested in that, you guys can click it, open this new window, it takes you to a whole brand new screen. You guys can watch it to your heart's content. On the right hand side is a link to a video where I talk about some of my live streams that I also do on this server on woodycraft.net, Factions Bravo. I do a lot of live streams on there on my Twitch account. So, yeah, guys, if you're interested in that, also click it, open this new window. If you guys have stayed this long, hopefully, I've earned your subscription. And if you guys do subscribe, welcome to the Troop Clan. Well, anyways, guys, I'm Monkey Dream. Sorry, little guy. Peace.